Today I am going to go to some bookshops and hopefully find some books that you all recommended to me on my autumn recommendations video. There were quite a few of people who left comments about books, which I really appreciate. Thank you so much for doing that. I am going to right now look up some independent bookshops in my town to create like a TBR list. It's already October 16th which makes me want to cry because it went halfway is already here and it's like it happened so fast. I feel like reading is a really good way to get into the autumn spirit, especially because reading is such a pensive little autumn activity. So local bookshops, well, bookstores, okay, Google bookstores. Whoa, okay, let's see. They all look like they are open. It's a really nice gloomy day outside. It's super windy. It's been, there's been like a storm warning for like the past few days. It's been pretty windy. So yeah, anyway, it looks gloomy outside. So I'm hoping it is because I'm wearing a turtleneck and this little blazer. Let's go to the bookshop.
was such a big old fail. I never have any luck finding things that I am looking for in bookshops. I just, they never have them. I was tempted to buy these two biographies, one of Virginia Woolf and another one of Edna St. Vincent Millay, but I was like, okay, do I need these right now? No. Do I need to spend $10 on them each? Probably not because I'm sure Half Price Books has them for 50 cents. So I didn't buy those, but I bought this. It's called Ghost Stories. It is a collection of stories from a bunch of different people, including, um, including Ray Bradbury. So Edith Wharton, The Happy Autumn Fields. I wanna know what that is. They're all pretty short, maybe like 20 to 50 pages. I just thought it might be fun to have a little ghost stories book like this. They gave me a bookmark and it has a picture of the cat that lives there and his name is Orlando. He actually kind of looks like this cat on here but not mean. He was super nice. He was like following me around and he was like staring at walls too. I was like are you okay? Hey, <laughs> what's up? I need to put socks on, even though I already have tights on because it's freezing in my house. Yes, I'm wearing tights underneath pants. And yes, I'm wearing socks over top of tights. I'm very uncomfortable when my appendages are cold. <laughs> 
I have my hot tea, of course. I always have tea. It's steaming right now, but it's only warm. And I like when my tea scalds me, so we'll have to heat that up in a second. I also brought like little snacks up here. Tart raspberry dark chocolate. This is from endangered species chocolate. 10% of net profits to save our wildlife. This specific um, raspberry flavor is for the brown bear. That's really cool. And it's fair trade and this one is vegan. So I have my, my stack of books. I have two stacks of books actually. I will turn them into one and I'm going to show you. And it's a lot. I just kind of like binged bought books because binged box books. Um, okay, yeah, I kind of went crazy. You all left so many recommendations and I was just basically trying to like search for all of them in every bookstore that I went to and I wasn't having much luck. So when I finally did come across them, I just felt like I needed to cherish them and purchase them all even though I'm not a fast reader and I'm probably not gonna get around to reading all of these right now. Anyway, let me go through. I have such bad posture. I hope you can still see me if I'm sitting up. <laughs> Let me make sure you can still see me. All right, so I'll just go through every book one by one. The first book that I got is this one called Ghost Stories and it is edited by, let's see, edited by Peter Washington. And it looks like this. I actually haven't looked at what it looks like without the sleeve on it. I'm curious. Whoa, it looks like a classic <gasps> and it's like cloth or something. It feels so nice. I didn't even know this. I saw this. I've seen this many times before and I'm like, that's pretty, pretty, pretty looking. It's got like black pages, not, not inside, just like the sides. Yeah, this is Dracula by Bram Stoker. And, whoa, very pretty. I've never read Dracula before. I know many people say it's very good and I would love to read this. Would love, love, love to read this. This one's a little bit shabby looking. It's called A Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray. Libba? Libba Bray? Why does that sound wrong right now? Yeah, it's got like stickers on the front of it, which I need to try and get off. I'm sure they come off easily because, yeah. Um, but apparently whoever had this last wasn't very careful with the stickers, so. Don't know anything about this book. Oh my gosh, I, the, <laughs> the summary on the back of it though, the first sentence, Gemma Doyle isn't like other girls. Is this a joke? Girls with impeccable manners who speak when spoken to. I'm not gonna read the summary, I'll read the book. I purchased kind of like young adult books because I feel like if you are in a reading slump or if you have trouble continuously reading and like making it a habit, I think reading young adult books is a really good thing to do. Not really exhausting, you know, like you don't have to think too hard about them. They're just really entertaining and really like a nice piece of work. And this is a movie that I've seen. Nope, okay, the, the, the sticker's not coming off of there. This is a movie I've seen and I've heard a lot about this book before the movie came out um, and I wanted to read it then, but then I saw the movie and I was like, eh. But somebody told me Miss Peregrine's Home for, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. Miss Peregrine, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. Although the movie was great, I think Miss Peregrine, Miss Peregrine was like very cool in the movie, but I feel like she's gonna be very different in the book. So we shall see. The next one I have is The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert. Very, very pretty. It's about a 17 year old girl, I guess. I don't know anything about this. Ooh. Oh, that's Manhattan. I don't know if that's Manhattan, but it's definitely New York because I know that, pretty sure like Bette Midler lived in that a building. Anyway, why do I know that? I'm not sure. I don't know if you can see like this embossed detail right here. That's a building 
in New York. It's like on a it's like on a street that goes like this. But I'm pretty sure Bette Midler used to live in there. I don't know. Pretty sure. <laughs> I actually prefer paperback books. And this one's also hardback. This is called The Dark Tide by Alicia Jasinska. This one really got me because on the back it says the witch queen comes on wings of night. And it has like a whole little poem on the back. And it said witch queen. So I was like, yep, getting that one. I'm feeling like maybe I'll read this one after something wicked this way comes. I was overwhelmed with excitement when I saw this on the shelf. I was like, that's, thank you. Because I have been looking for Ray Bradbury at every single store and either they don't have any of his books or they have like Fahrenheit or something about The Martian or The Illustrated Man, which I'm sure are all great books, but they are not the ones that I was looking for. I'm looking for the fall, like, Something Wicked This Way Comes, The October Country, um, From the Dust Returned. I was looking for those and I could not find them. I'm gonna read this one first because I'm very excited about it. I have no idea what any of these books are about. Not a clue. I'm going in blind. I'm going in with a fresh perspective. No, just that. That's it. And then the last book that I got is thankfully also a paperback. <laughs> which is Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. Is this a series and is this the first book? I really hope this is the first book. Yes, those are all my books. Thank you. 